knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. Let's talk about one of the most common mistakes students make when learning Italian. It has to do with sentences that start with the word people. In English, we treat people like a plural noun. People go to the store. People do aerobics. People eat pasta. It would be silly to say people goes or people does because people is the plural version of person. In Italian, you may certainly use the equivalent expression, which is the feminine plural noun, le persone. However, the expression more commonly used is la gente. Now, la gente is a collective noun, meaning that it is singular despite the fact that it describes a group of many people. So, we would say la gente va al cinema. Notice that the form of the verb used is va. This would be the same as if we said, Luigi va al cinema. We treat the people like one thing. As another example, La gente ha paura dei terremoti. Now, la gente is not the only collective noun in the Italian language. There are many other collective nouns which describe groups of animals, things, or even people in one singular word. The gender will vary, as usual, according to the final vowel of the word, but the verb will always agree with this word in the singular. This is a little tricky, so your conversation partners will be amazed when you start using sentences like these. Una comitiva di professori giapponesi visitava il museo. Uno stormo di uccelli si è posato sull'albero. Quella nuvolaglia nera all'orizzonte non promette niente di buono. So, what are some other collective nouns? Let's go through the most common ones, starting with nouns that describe groups of people. A crew of sailors. Una ciurma di marinai. A large number of people. Una folla di persone. A troupe of dancers. Una compagnia di ballo. A group of athletes on a sports team. Una squadra di giocatori. A group of sports fans. Una frotta di tifosi. A group of workers. Una squadra di operai. A group of soldiers. Una truppa di soldati. A group of pupils or students. Una scolaresca. A group or chorus of singers. Un coro di cantanti. A group of employees. Il personale. A group of inhabitants or a population. La popolazione. A group of pilots and flight attendants. L'equipaggio dell'aereo. A group of customers or a clientele. La clientela. Now let's check out collective nouns that describe groups of animals. A swarm of bees. Uno sciame di api. A gaggle of geese. Uno stormo di anatre. A herd of cows. Una mandria di mucche. A pride of lions. Un branco di leoni. A pack of wolves. Un branco di lupi. A flock of sheep. Un gregge di pecore. A herd of deer. Un branco di cervi. A school of fish. Un banco di pesci. A clutter of spiders. Un ammasso di ragni. A plague of locusts. Un invasione di cavallette. A litter of puppies. Una cucciolata. 
a pack of dogs, una muta di cani, and a bunch of insects, un nugolo di insetti. Lastly, we have some collective nouns that describe groups of things. A fleet of ships, una flotta di navi. A pack or a deck of carts, un mazzo di carte. A bouquet of flowers, un mazzo di fiori. A group of stars or a constellation, una costellazione di stelle. A bunch of grapes, un grappolo d'uva. A flight of steps, una scalinata. Several pieces of furniture, la mobilia. A group of rose plants, un roseto. A group of fruit trees or an orchard, un frutteto. Many trees in general, un bosco. A group of islands or an archipelago, un arcipelago di isole. And a group of rocks at sea, una scogliera. So that's quite a lot of collective nouns that you can try to implement into your vocabulary. Since there are so many, pick a few favorites and see if you can find a way to sneak them into conversation. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.